Welcome to the Posture Pump Pentavec Model 2500 instructions. To begin, remove unit from carrying case and place the Pentavec 2500 on a firm, comfortable surface. If belt connections are protruding from back unit opening, simply pull right and left sides of pelvic belt away from each other before making adjustments. The further apart back and foot unit are from each other, the less the pelvic pull. The closer they are together, the tighter the pull. To decrease pull, open buckle flap completely and pull foot unit away from back unit. Lock buckle completely. To increase pull, open buckle flap completely. Grasp foot unit and pull or slide buckle toward back unit. Lock buckle completely. On a comfortable firm surface in a seated position, slide deflated back unit against low back and buttocks. Place the black tubing to your right side. Grasp the two hand pumps. Squeeze each pump separately to confirm which one operates lowest air cell and inflate lowest air cell first to a firm, comfortable level, but never to the point of pain. This usually requires one to nine complete pumps. Inflate upper air cell to an equally comfortable level. Again, usually one to nine complete pumps. Now, squeeze both pumps at the same time. This usually requires one to five more pumps. To release air cells, simply push down air release button on hand pumps. With your knees bent and feet firmly on the ground, rock pelvis up and back toward belly button using your abdominal muscles to lift buttocks. Then rock downward using back muscles and allow lower back to gently stretch over air cells, lowering buttocks to floor. Gently rock back and forth three to five times or more. Caution, carefully read and adjust the pelvic and foot unit belts before training session begins. Now is the time to make final adjustments to the pelvic and foot belts. Take care to adjust the belt so that you feel a gradual, comfortable pull. The pelvic belt is adjusted slightly loose around the pelvis, below the waist and belly button. This belt should not be tight when fastened. After pelvic belt adjustment, the buckle may be off center. Center buckle by pulling the buckle toward the center. Slide hip pads along belt to make room if necessary. If the pelvic belt becomes twisted, also use this maneuver to untwist by pulling the belt all the way to the right and all the way to the left several times until belt becomes untwisted. Tuck excess pelvic belt into right hip pad if desired. If the foot unit belt is too short, your legs will be bent too much. For proper adjustment, your knees will be slightly bent. Never adjust pelvic belt or foot unit belt so tight that legs cannot be easily extended or so that pelvic belt causes pain. With heels pushed out and up and legs extended, back unit has now slid below buttocks, lifting buttocks up and off the ground. Foot unit will also be lifted about one inch off the ground. Final adjustments to belts may need to change if heel thickness of shoes changes. Remember to always wear shoes. Grasp the two hand pumps, squeeze each pump separately to confirm which one operates lowest air cell and inflate lowest air cell first to a firm, comfortable level, but never to the point of pain. This usually requires one to nine complete pumps. Inflate upper air cell to an equally comfortable level. Again, usually one to nine complete pumps. Squeeze both pumps at the same time. This usually requires one to five more pumps. With your knees bent and feet firmly on the ground, rock pelvis up and back toward belly button using your abdominal muscles to lift buttocks. 
Then rock downward using back muscles and allow lower back to gently stretch over air cells, lowering buttocks to floor. Gently rock back and forth three to five times or more. Then with both feet in the foot unit and knees bent slightly, gently and gradually straighten legs pushing with your heels against the foot unit. The back unit will now slide down from your lower back toward your pelvis and buttocks, usually one to four inches. Hold this position for approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Then relax your legs and slide forward so back unit is again under the small of your back and gently rock forward and back. Repeat several times with back unit inflated to a comfortable level. If necessary, deflate air cells by pushing down on both air release buttons at the same time and repeat as desired. On your last repetition, extend foot unit and hold for up to 8 minutes maximum. Gradually work up to this 8 minute goal over several training sessions. Never extend legs for more than 1 minute in initial training session. Relax your legs and slide forward so back unit is again under the small of your back. Gently rock forward, back and forward a few times. Deflate both air cells approximately halfway. Release pelvic belt from waist and remove feet from foot unit. Move the back unit toward mid and upper back and gently stretch arms overhead to decompress the middle and upper back. Perform this movement several times as you slide and roll over back unit. Gently roll off exerciser and onto your left or right side slowly and carefully before rising. Gradually increase your air cell inflation as comfort permits. Chronic stiffness and discomfort may take several days to adequately subside. To reduce this occurrence, inflate the exerciser at lower levels and keep your workouts under 10 minutes for the first two weeks. This will allow your body to gradually adapt to a more aggressive workout. If discomfort persists, consult your healthcare professional.